Boom. What's going on, everybody? Happy. What is it? What day of quarantine is this? Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. No, I, I, di I did find out today that it is actually Thursday. I, I thought yesterday was like Tuesday, but uh, I'm, I'm just kind of one day off. Anyway, great to see everybody. I uh, hope everybody got to do uh, some of the... Uh, uh, some of the cardio work uh, from Fit to Fight earlier today, I saw that. I did get to tune into a little bit, but I was busy pretty much for the day making some making some uh, technique videos and some uh, workout stuff for you guys for later. But anyway, all right. So let's uh, let's do a little bit of crab. Let's just kind of get our arms all warmed up here. Uh, big horizontal movements here. Let's include the hips here. Uh, Every day getting a little bit better with the tech stuff. Learning Zoom, man. I tell you what, Zoom, certainly there at the right time, the right place, the right time, aren't they? Uh, okay. Good. I'm just going to start throwing some hooks here. Boom. Starting at my face. Create the structure. Let your body transfer the weight left to right. That's where the power comes from. If your hip and shoulder are not towards me, then you're leaving power behind. It's, you're just swinging the arm, right? Get that hip and shoulder. You gotta squish the bug on the ball of the foot. Good, I wanna start uh, creating a different angle here, kind of bringing that using the same power of transfer and weight, but just kind of throwing this up. So this is this is that shovel hook where I'm looking to boom get into the body here. So I'm angling my body and allowing that twist to bring that here instead of horizontally. That's all I'm doing. Then. I can still use this twist, but I'm gonna have to get the elbow down so that I split the uprights up here and make that an uppercut. This is one version of throwing the uppercut. It's basically like a hook, except I allow it to go up through the middle. At the extension of that, you want this right now to be as vertical as possible. Here's the bad guy. Why do I throw this uppercut? It's because I'm going under here and like I said, splitting the uprights. These football goal, uh, goal posts kind of going up in here. Right, so I'm throwing a hook uh, here, but I'm getting the elbow in and letting it go up. Remember to protect your face at all times. I don't let that weapon go until it's on the way. No wind up, no nothing back here. Good. Let's uh, turn that into a, uh, in level two, we simply add a two, three, or a three, two on the end of every combo, basically, because we're keeping it right, left, right, so forth like that. So when I throw a my right, which is a number six uh, uppercut, then I will finish that with a hook because that's on my left side and that's my strongest, arguably, uh, uh, strike. And then across with my right. So if I throw this, it'll be a six, three, two. If I throw this over here, it's a five, two, three, right? So this one will, uh, uh, after the first strike, this is always a two, this is always a three. Good, so I will say right or left, and you throw that one first. Uh, I will say that instead of, well, I'll say five or six, okay? So five is what? Left side, I'm, I'm not sure if my camera is turned, is turned different ways, but anyway. So we'll start with a five and then end with a two, three. So here we go. Let's start with a five, two, three. Ready, go. <laughs> Go. 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 Notice that when I throw this, 
shovel hook. I'm not trying to do it from a static position. I'm chambering and getting down here as we used, as we did it in class yesterday. Often that comes from I threw a cross over here or maybe she threw a big hook, right hook at my head. Oh my gosh, here I am, boom. Now, it's possible that she has her cover up here. So this five, two, three, maybe I just want to fake the two. I just want her to go to get her hands up, right? <laughs> I want it to be here so I can actually land the three, okay? So let's do this. Let's throw this five, two, but I'm not gonna throw it. I'm just faking it. Right. What I'm really doing from yesterday, as from yesterday's class, is this boom, boom, right? Rah, rah. And remember the, remember the body movement of driving over here. That adds me just sitting still. That adds all of that force to that strike. This is a good strike. This is better, right? Okay, so I'm throwing the five, fake the two to get the hands up. Boom, throw in the three. Ready, go. Go. Well, again, I'm short, so I almost always, I mean, the truth of the matter is even right here, stay still. I can't, I can't, I'm not going to reach her. So I always advance. I'm just throwing the, the boom, boom, boom. But oh, it's the, the last one. <coughs> oh, for the last one? This hook, yeah. Oh, okay. She's uh, uh, the last one. I'm just, uh, I guess. I guess you didn't tune in last night. No, you are putting the kids to bed. All right, we were talking about how uh, I always want to add movement with my body if I can. Why not? I This is good. This is better. Why not? I mean, even without a punch, there's force here, right? Why not add that to it? So if I can, when I throw a, a hook, I don't want to take my shoulder away this like this, that's stealing the, the power. I want to add to it. Even if it's just, even if it's just moving my body like this, boom versus boom, okay? So why not move my body? And if, if at all possible, do one of those, what do we call those? V steps, boom, okay? She throws a hook at my head, boom. I could strike there, but why not? Boom, why not drive into that strike? V-step, V-step, okay? And remember, the unique thing on that other side is that it will be a stutter step. Boom, for the most part, unless you really can step that leg. And the two, ready, go. Go, go. Check yourself. This is a good time. Turn on that camera. Just set it over to the side. Doesn't have to be a great shot. Doesn't have to be perfect. But ask, you know, find out the truth. Are you going like this? Boom. Boom. What? Oh, shoot. Darren, come on. I tell you what, it's amazing how often I even catch myself doing it. Are you dropping your hands? Ready? Go. Rest, rest, rest. Go. Rest, rest, rest. Are the hips going towards the target? Let's fake that three. I threw that big uppercut. Whoop. Didn't quite get through. I want him to respond to that so that I can throw that big right. Here we go. 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 Excellent. Great. Uh, let me check my list here. All right, so obviously there are some things that are more challenging to do uh, during this quarantine time because we don't have any partners. Um, any kind of grappling, clinch type of stuff, but that doesn't mean that we can't practice them. Uh, I was putting together some videos today of some ways that you can work some of the clinch 
uh, things from the seat belt. If you recall, in level one, uh, our clinch, we pretty much uh, keep it into what we refer to as the seat belt clinch, right? Mainly, and why am I there in level one? We're focusing mainly on just being a difficult target. She wants to bear hug me. Oh no, no you don't. So I have my seat belt. The advantages of this are that I am on the outside. She tries to close the space. Can't do it because I've got this structure. I want to close the space. Boom, boom. I can do it because of this structure, right? I can throw strikes. I can also get offline and I can let go anytime. Key point there. Okay. However, there are other clinch positions, head and arm, common wrestling. My hand could be on the neck or it could be on the head, depending upon what I'm doing. And then the double necktie, often called the buoy tie clinch, anything in here. So uh, these, the three energies that we first focus on are these. Or actually, I say four, but one of them is not an energy. It's literally no energy. Let's say she comes in and she's trying to bear hug me. This is her goal, right? All right. So the first thing I want to work on is just, is just my reaction. So you could do that anytime a family member comes within <laughs> your space. Hey, leave me alone. Hey. Now, am I, do I have to touch them? Remember the hierarchy of space? Is this about touching them? <laughs> the the seatbelt does not mean that I have to touch them. It just means that I'm in this range here to, to stop. She goes low. She goes really low. Whoa, no, you don't. She goes high. Whoa, you know, it's here. It's a, it's a structure that stops her from getting in here. But does that, is that where she wants to be? No, she'd rather be two or three arms lengths away. So if I grab her and she's right here, she's like, hey, I, I don't care about touching you. I will back away and create space because that's always what I want to do. However, once we get in the clinch, uh, scoot you a little forward, make sure I don't have my monitor so I, don't, I can't really see. So anyway, she does, she gets into this seatbelt range, right? All right, so we kind of want to put this in uh, three different categories. First of all, absolutely nothing. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's I'm still here, but I'm not really doing anything. If there's no energy, she creates the energy by throwing, by either making space or just simply throwing strikes. So that's our knees, boom, our head butts, bang, you know, anything in there. So uh, I'm always ready to create energy with strikes. Other than that, the, uh, the, the three energies we look at are I go low, I go high, uh, or uh, the, uh, well, the other one is kind of a no energy uh, where, where my hand is just kind of staying here and posting upon her shoulder, this kind of thing right here. All right, so she stops me here. Nothing's going on uh, here. She can throw strikes. If there's some energy over her arm here, she's gonna go for an arm drag. So I'm doing a whole lot of this right. Good. All right, so remember she's going wrist to wrist. It could be as simple as, sim as it could be as simple as grabbing my wrist and pulling it over here, and she closes the space and gets behind at least to get away or to improve her position somehow, okay? So that's the first one. So, so she arms up, hey, nothing's going on, but she has access to that hand, boom, okay? So keep in mind, uh, the, the simple way you probably have worked this in a class is she posts it here and I go wrist to wrist, right? This is, I don't need a C grip here unless my goal is simply to grab and take it over there. If I'm just trying to go around it, I go wrist to wrist in this area here, not up here, it's a little much harder up here, right here, boom, I get it as far as I can, and then 
I use the rest of the arm. Now, how in the world could I work that at home? Well, uh, I'm gonna post a video a little bit later of just, uh, I used one of the uh, like martial arts belts and just tied it to a post and held it out. Uh, or if you've got something, you can just, I'm just gonna have her hold it because we don't have anything right here. But I just want her to hold this in the air right here where I'm taking, I'm using a, a jacket right here. So I'm just gonna lay that on top of my arm here and just work. Boom. What am I working on here? I'm working on the arm drag. I'm working on the getting to this outside position here. Now, once again, I'm, I don't know, find something to hang this on. Uh, a doorway or, uh, what do you call those? A doorway with no door. Door? Oh, uh, frame. Yeah, door, frame, archway, or any, anything. But I'm just kind of laying this on here, right here, just because obviously I, it won't stay right here, so <laughs> I have to lay it here. But this hand's on the inside, and I'm just going to the outside. Woo, boom. Working this little wrist, 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 wrist. Okay, remember, I want to get this around here and throw it as wet as far as I can towards just across the middle. The other hand hooks, reaches, where am I going? Above, above the elbow, pulling it around here. I say pull, and there is the name, arm drag, but you probably heard us say, I don't care whether I move her or move me. If I move me, I'm almost certain to actually be able to close some space. All right, so I get it to the inside, I work my V-step. Notice that I'm lowering my level. I should always do that. There's no reason to come directly in here. I'm gonna be here, and if I do have this on, a, like at the studio, I, ha I put that belt on a post, and I was able to kind of angle around, okay? So I'll let, uh, let my partner kind of work that. She has never seen this before. So uh, again, there, here it is right here. She's just spinning around here, getting control of that. That's the main thing. Boy, get, to get good at that, bring it around, whoosh, good. And good, that's the first step, is just being able to get it out here. So she is simulating what? Hey, lady, boom, boom. Exactly, that's really good. Let me tell you what the, that it could be anywhere, right? It could be right here, boom. She's on the inside of it, and she gets to the outside. Now, again, there's that initial movement, so you just work on that. Drill it over and over, thousands and thousands of times. By tomorrow, please. <laughs> uh, uh, good. Here I am, woo! Her. Good. Now, what else could you do? Uh, I didn't make the video of it, but I was going to, uh, maybe tomorrow, put a string through it and also just kind of hang that here. So again, it's just right there. Ooh. Now, uh, of course, I'm holding it right now, but I don't care if this is on a string. It could be, okay. Now, <laughs> there's one thing that's not going to happen here. You're not going to actually be able to drag this because you have it on, well, unless you have it on a bungee cord, right? Uh, so this is not going to move. It's definitely going to be you that move, right? Good. So you hold it for me. You hold it on, that, on this side over here. Just that. Might even be good. You can take something like this and put it in the sleeve of a jacket. You know, that way it feels... Whoa. Okay, anyway, so that's, that's one energy that I almost re sometimes refer to these as mousetraps. The moment that she touches my shoulder, <laughs> I want that to go, uh, hey, quit. Where you don't even have to think about that. Just like if somebody pushes you in the shoulder, and, and with your right hand, boom, that, that I immediately parry that. Boom, close that distance. Somebody reaches for your face, what the hell? Boom. Uh, I want that to come out of you just like that. So these are response to, whoa, Perry. Hey. Ah. <laughs> oh, I hear some, some police going on here. What are you doing, lady? Good. So uh, if you have a partner, 
uh, somebody in the house, even a kid, you can say, hey, at any time you can say, hey, dad, hey, mom, ah, and just go for my head. Now, uh, again, she goes for my head. Well, that's apparent. Maybe, maybe I want to drag, but the, if it's far enough inside, and also remember, I'm always going to be closing the distance in there, right? Okay, that's one energy, posting. There's something there, or maybe there's no energy going on, but it is sitting there. Now, in addition to being sitting right there, that's a, would you think you would know if that was happening? All right, so immediately, this is high energy coming towards your head. This is so common. Man, can you get into the fight? Boom, reaching towards there. So when she, oh, sorry. <laughs> when she reaches for my head, woo, woo, I'm just working on that duck under. Here it comes, woo, literally. Comes from the French word duck. <laughs> get out of the way, woo, and close the space. Here it comes, woo. That's an energy. When does this happen? Oh no. Oh, I felt that. I felt it. <laughs> Literally. Oh, what, that was, there it was, right there. It's not when it's here, I think she's going to grab my head. No, I feel that energy coming towards, towards here. Sometimes I can make that energy come. What if I go, what's she going to do? Uh, I don't know. Boom, right? Her, she's going to push back, right? Sometimes I, I drive that. And she's like, whoop, whoop, okay? So, uh, several ways that this can happen, but I feel that energy. There's the standard, I'm gonna rip your head off. <laughs> yeah, here comes that arm. That's pretty obvious, right? I, uh, you think, well, can you actually uh, close that distance? Yes. Remember, you're in a clench. So first of all, they're probably pretty serious about this. Boom. Secondly, I am going to close the space as well. I'm also, if I have a hold of her, watch this. <laughs> I'm literally going to take whatever I have of her and throw it by. So again, so that I close the distance as quickly as possible. Okay. So on this side right here, that right there, uh, no energy at all. Energy going towards the head. Duck under. Now, I, you could say uh, energy going down as well. I'm going to get your leg. Boom. That could the same thing I could drag. You know, in other words, whoa, there it goes. I'm in here. I just did this seatbelt. She's like, I'm going to grab your leg. Whoa. And I do the same. Mod it's modified. I'm not going around here. I'm just more pairing it, right? Here comes that leg. Whoa. Okay. And we'll talk about that, that secondary, uh, that third energy which is going down in a second so uh same thing hang that jacket up i'm right here uh, i'm working that arm drag okay uh what are the key points you got to get this up you got to get you down Getting this up could be me literally lifting it up, or it could be me posting it up. Because all I just need to, all I need to make sure is that it doesn't come down. Just for that, for for a, for a long time, no. Just for that moment. Uh, so, and again, I I can't bring this here, likely. So I'm making sure that I close the distance. On the other side, it'll be me with the stutter step, right? Whoa. And remember, I'd be closing this space, getting in here tight and getting a position of control. All right. Uh, that's two of them. So we said, uh, she comes after me. I'm here. Nothing's going on. Boom. Bam, I create the energy because then everything will be so much easier. That arm is there, it's available. I'm looking to arm drag. If she's like, hell with this, I'm gonna grab your head, boom, it's a duck under. 
third one, who will be very, very light in this, she's like, I'm gonna grab your leg. Boom. <laughs> Where I get into the snap down. The moment, go for my leg, right there, I felt it. Go to give up, right there, I felt it. Again, I want this to be like a mousetrap. The moment that she's like, I'm gonna go, I'm in slow motion, it's like a tick of her head, oh yeah. I cut the back of her head, I bring it forward, and allow my weight to come down, and then I get, whatever's down here, I get it out of the way, boom, as I bring it down. A lot of different ways you can do this, okay? Uh, I can club this down, but the main thing is just the energy. So I'm gonna have her get a very simple uh, 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 necktie. This is what we call necktie. And, and I'm gonna give her a little bit of a, a movement here. And as soon as she feels it, I want her, we just said two things. Bring it full. I want her to help it come forward. And then let her body weight kind of go down. So it looks like this. I'll do it very, very lightly. Here she goes. All right. Okay, but I'm responding to an energy, but then again, I could make this happen, right? All right, so here she is. <laughs> exactly, good. Remember, this is, what, what's that position called? Nose over toes. Nose over toes. And especially when they're the one that initiated, it's, it's just, it's multiplied, okay? They're literally asking to get taken down. Okay. Hey. Exactly. All right, now how in the world do you do this uh, when, you don't have, when you don't have a partner? You just have to imagine, okay? So um, there's another video we were working on with sprawls. Sprawls, because it's kind of the same thing. Uh, a sprawl, whoa, is getting your leg back. I do that, she reaches for my leg, I'm gonna use a mod, whoa, I'm getting my legs back, whoa. Now this is offensive if she reaches for my legs and I'm snapping that head down into the ground, but it's the same motion. I need to make, the threat here is always them grabbing one leg, two le one or two legs, or maybe not, maybe not like getting them perfectly, but this right here, if I, if I get, I'm a bigger person, I get a hook right there, and her life just got a lot more miserable, right? All right, so um, so I practice this one here. I'm just in this kind of modified stance. I'm just imagining that this person is here and going like that. So there's two things I need to do. I'll, first is I want to snap down, and I want to get that particular leg out of the way, okay? The arm that I snap the head down, for the most part, you can imagine that this one is, is in the biggest danger because this is the side, more of the side they're on. And this one right here, as uh, if I'm right here, put that, put, reach this arm down there. This one is very easy kind of to direct it over to the side. All right, so my snap down, um, we could say it's just a pivot, right? The simplest version, I'm gonna plant this leg, this person reaches here, boom, and I just get it back. Whoa. But remember, I'm what I want is I want their head forward and my weight coming straight down. Wait a second, does that mean that you want to pull down at 45 degrees? No. I know that is what happens, but that's not what I'm looking for. Because if I start pulling her head at 45 degrees and she's pulling back, pull like, like just try to walk backwards from down there. We're working for the same thing, to, to let go of each other, right? <laughs> she tries to pull my head 45 degrees down that way. It's very easy to slip off, right? So I don't want to go, I want to go straight down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's exactly it. It's like, um, I, if I, there is no slipping off because her hands are pulling that way. It's going completely down, and the more nose over toes I get, the more downward I'm going to be, okay? All right, so those are the three energies that you can practice. Uh, whoa, here they come. 
Uh, actually, did we talk about this now? No. Well, oh. the, the, well, what's this tool for? Well, it's, it's simulating this right here, right? She reaches for this leg, this. Yeah. Reaches for that leg, whoa. And I'm, this is just kind of my base to work on. Whoa. Yeah. Yes. Good. So I, let's, uh, let's, I'm going to let her use this, and I'm going to give some flesh to the imagination here. <laughs> okay. So she's going to sprawl the leg back that I reach for. And you can you can use this like okay. literally like this, but whoa, okay. get that thing back. Okay. Now that would be a good example. Let's see that. Look at that again. Boom. Like you see how close this foot is. That's why the idea of a step pivot sometimes is a little bit better, or it happens all at once. Boom, boom, because you do want to get both legs away. It would be a shame if I reach for this leg and then that one's right there, right? You know, so, uh, but the bottom line is you have to deal with the biggest threat. If that biggest threat is me grabbing that leg right there, that's a good, that was a good sprawl. Uh, now that was a good sprawl, but remember, you want to add the weight of your body. Now that the weight of their body, hopefully, is all on here. Why would it not be here? Because they're too, they, they did such a good job. She got past my arms. Go. Oh. She's here. Okay. So now the weight is still there. It's just here. Right? I would prefer it to be here. And I'm, I'm using, using it offensively. Or, def you know, defensively, but to a... To get a better position so this is what she would want so this is the difference between a snap down and a sprawl whoa is what how far their head got in there okay we'll do it really really slow I go here seat belt oh let's do it on why not so you hear it uh, seat belt reach snap down remember she wants to snap down now Oh, I got in. Now, everything's the same, right? Even though I'm past her, I may be past her elbow, she's still going to sprawl and keep all that weight. But where's the weight going now? Shoulder and head. You know, we often say, just put yourself in this position and reverse engineer. Okay? From your perspective, grab my leg. Now, what do you, what do you, what does she want to do? Try to pick me up. Okay, so see, she's trying to get in here. She's trying to get her head up and her shoulders up. So that's what she wants. So reverse engineer, that's what I don't want. I want her head away and I want her body to stay down. <laughs> okay, so it's that simple. Just make their life miserable. Don't forget though, this is not MMA. This is no sport. You've got strikes from hell here. These are some of the most dangerous strikes that can be thrown. People get disqualified in MMA matches, in jujitsu, anytime they strike the spine, they strike the back of the head, even boxers. They get in here and they go, boom, right here, stop. That's one point, one point. You know, they, they get penalized just for punching with a 16 ounce glove on the back of the head. That's how dangerous it is and that's how much damage you can do. Okay, so our point here, is you want to develop these response uh, mousetrap type things. I post here. Yeah, in other words, you want to get it in your muscle memory. Hey, there's an arm here. Boom, you're arm dragging. I reach for the head. Ah, she's dugging under. I reach for the leg. She sprawls and tries to tries to snap down. What are some other mousetrap type things? Well, we talked about. If you see an arm out here, uh, I don't know. remember structure, remember that one? Whoop, <laughs> all right, being preemptive there. If it gets past it, past the shoulder, then what? Boom, out, out the back door, right? In other words, I, whoa, I don't have to think about this. Oh, what, what should I do? Oh no, 
I'm gonna get this one up to block. I'm gonna get this one up to grab. I'm gonna turn, <sighs> step pivot into the fight. Unless it goes past my, oh my gosh, boom. Then I'm doing the opposite, right? I get here, it goes over, boom, okay. Now, remember, you probably won't be able to actually lift it, so you just hook it and you go, you move you, right? So instead of, instead of anything that looks like this, it's just there, all right, boom. All right, all right, boom, all right. Yes, good, all right. Good. This is exactly how these go in real classes, but you just have to use your imagination, okay? And I know these work because I, I did them in my early years. I did them in wrestling. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's a takedown. Sorry. Okay. Also, what are what are some other things you can always? Anytime somebody gets a tie up on you, this head and arm, boom, shucking that off. For those of you who know that, they get that boom. I shut that off. Uh, anyway, a lot of things that are just a response to a particular type of energy. You program, you get your body into, because you've done it, you do it a hundred times, you imagine it thousands of times, and you finally get it to be a part of your muscle memory. So, response drills. Uh, uh, I'll post that video up with the, the belt. Um, another, I'll just give you a, one, last, one last little picture of these. I can also do this once I, like I said, if I hang this up, she's, she's my post here. I can practice these things. Whoa, here comes his arm. Whoa. Boom. Boom. Whoa. Whoa. I'm drag. A lot of things you can kind of do, just with your imagination. Awesome job. Thank you very much. A lot of uh, looking forward to tomorrow night. We're going to have Zoom class. Had a great crew out last, uh, last Friday. Uh, today is Thursday, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be fun. Thank you very much, Lindsay. Yeah. Great job. Uh, Shoulder back and Kida. We didn't do Kida at the beginning, did we? No, I didn't. <laughs> Wait, slap me. <laughs> Cookie just wants to say goodbye. See you guys later. <laughs>